up you guys, it's Emma and today I'm doing a what's in my like memory drawer thing. I said about doing this for months now and I'm finally getting around to it after Vlogmas and everything like that. Yeah. I'm actually with the weirdest noise. You right? <laughs> yeah, this is pretty darn cool. They all have Basically all of them have backstories. But yeah, let's get into what this could be a long video to get some snacks. Right, the first thing is this. This is gonna be a recurring thing, but that's not weird, they all have meaning to them. This you guys can see is a Harry Potter and the Cursed Child bag. And just things like this. Things that I've been waiting for years to do and having something that reminds me that I went there. Obviously I've got the programme and stuff, but I don't know, just something big, which could be very limited because we don't know how long it's going to be on for. But yeah, I really like it. it might be sad. I haven't really worked out where I was going to put things once I've taken them out. Next thing is this, which... Must have been just over a month ago now. I think I spoke about it when I went. I might have even filmed when I went. But, um... It was November sometime. I went to Reading for the Christmas light turn on. 16th of November. I went to the Reading Christmas lights turn on and Jack and Jill from X Factor were there and I met them and had this little signature thing that has my name on it. It's obviously got pictures of them and where it was. And then it's got their signatures on the bottom, if you guys can see that. Why am I shaking so much? But yeah, that's quite cool. I have this from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. <coughs> which this isn't... They were like two different program things. This one, which was the actual like program that they sold on the little stands. Which has got the characters, some bits about the play and stuff. And some pictures of people. There's also a bit in the back of like different plays and stuff on um, and also oh god where is it I hope I'm thinking of the right one it's not the other one yeah here which has like all the actors and who they played in the cast child and then also some of the other things they've been in and when I look through who they were in other things I'm like oh yeah I know them so that's pretty cool um, and then we're on the topic of that this is another program which is a lot bigger it's got this along with it and then I'm trying to put my cash up here um, and this one's more in depth of the play like it's got different bits from each so this, uh, there's the playwright there J.K. Rowling like the designer, the costume person, director just how they felt about Cursed Child and how it all came together and you could have got it with the cast I went to see which I got or you could have got it with the original cast and I was thinking about getting it with the original cast, but then I was like, you know what, I'll get it with the cast that I saw. So yeah. Okay, this one. Oh my god, there's, there's two here. These, I think you've seen these pictures before, a couple, like, two years ago now. So two years ago, I met my internet friend Jen for the first time at Harry Potter World. There was like a short vlog on it. Not really a vlog, I went out as a vlog. It was a couple of pictures and then it showed me and her meeting. But obviously, we went to Harry Potter uh, Studios in London. It's a good film in the back. And we did the little picture things. So, me, her, and her sister Karen did this one. You guys can see that while we were in the car. You can buy the pictures. And then, um, I think we did the broom one as well, but you get like videos from that and I didn't really want to. And then also, um, once you go onto platform nine and three quarters after that, you can get pictures done with the little trolley. So me and Jen did that. But they mean a lot to me because it was the first time I met Jen and it was actually such an amazing day. <laughs> okay, I have a Disney like autograph book. I have like a phone number in here and I don't even know whose phone number it is. It's not my home phone number, I can tell you that much. I don't know whose it is. But yeah, I've got 
masks and different signatures like blue. Tweeted down and tweeted it upside down. I think I have two of these books. There might be like a red one in here as well. Because I think I got a different one the two years I went. Or one of them might be my brother's. I think this one might be mine and the other one might be my brother's. I might have just robbed it from him. But this one's definitely mine because I remember getting the blue one. Um, but yeah, just, and then I started signing it myself at the back. Funny story, this must have been quite a few years back. And this is still the same signature I use to this day. I attempted to do my mum's and it's nothing like what I looks like. Yeah. Anyway, another bag. Right, this bag is like a three year thing because this actual bag I got the first year I went to Summerland City, which was 2005, but then, 2005, I'm sorry, 2015, and then um, the bits inside it are all from like different years that I've just put them in here. Um, I couldn't tell you which year each one came from, but it's like a little Minecraft book. Because I think that was like a Minecraft stand one of the years. This like wind beauty products thing, obviously I never did that. This everybody's talking about Jamie, which I know is definitely from this uh, 2017 I think, because the play came out in 2017, so I think they had this and then there was like a little bit of a showing of what it was. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I think they're all from different years. I think that was from 2015. I think that was 2016, and that was 2017. I don't know why they're the only things I collected from there. And there was obviously sweets and stuff that I've eaten there. And I don't know. I guess it's just something from each year. Then. Not to get the last bag out of the way. So this bag is from the Emmerdale Studio Tour, which I did a vlog on. I did do a vlog on it. And you, if you saw that vlog, then you would have seen this stuff already. But yeah, obviously there's the bag to my meal bin. Um, what else is in here? I can't even remember. I've not been through this in ages. Oh, my actual tickets from the tour. So I went on the 24th of June last year. I think the vlog up, went up the same day or the day after or something, so they looked for that. And then you get this like, lanyard thing that says Emmerdale Studio Tour on it. And then also, I have no idea what this is and why this is in here. It's from like a model village. We've been to like two of them, so I don't know which one I got it from, but yeah, sure. That's in there, memories as well. And then I have this Emmerdale pen, which I probably shouldn't be playing with, because about a week or so after I got it, I don't know if you can see, but it's completely exploded on the end. So I can no longer use it, but it says Emmerdale Studio to so I'm keeping it. Even though every time I pick it up, I get covered in ink. Yeah. <clears throat> My 13 badge. My mum, she's never done it before. She usually, if she gets me a badge, she'll get me like a small one on a card. But for my 13th, she got me the biggest badge ever and insisted I keep it for some reason. Um, and also she got me like some big balloons and made me carry them around town because I went with a bunch of my friends to Nando's for dinner. And I had to carry, I had to wear this massive badge there and carry these two massive balloons around Nando's and town and that was not fun but just to remind me I have passed the age of 13 <sighs> let's just see what's next there's a lot of these coming embarrassing pictures um I do have like all my school pictures around me um <clears throat> but there's no point getting them all down to show but this was from I think year six in Kempshire, the school I used to go to, I've seen year six, year six, and we had had like an end of year play thing. I can't remember exactly what ours was on, but yeah, <laughs> this is a picture we all got. You wouldn't even recognise me in the picture if you can see me. Say so down below where I am, but I look one hundred percent different in this picture than I do now. And I can assure you, I don't think I talked to any of the people in that picture. Maybe one of them, I'm not sure. Oh, God. <laughs> this picture is from 2013. 
So I would have been year five, year six, maybe year five, year six, I'm not too sure. And this was like our, we still do this to this day, but like our year pictures. We just had our year pictures for school. I don't think I talked to any of these people either. Yeah. Once again, if you think you can see me, let me know. <laughs> I look completely and utterly different. Yeah. Aw, this little picture. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this one. I'm going to bring this up to the camera properly so that I know you can see it. It's a picture of me, Saunders and Chloe. Um, they're all the same pictures. But... When we went to town once, we would do one of those photo booth things, and um, it was such a small, I don't know if this is in focus, but it was such like a small photo booth. I just knocked something over. We had to like properly squeeze in together. So that was, uh, that was entertaining, but no, it's still to this day one of my favourite pictures of the three of us. Is this the last picture? Hopefully. <laughs> this is definitely year seven. <clears throat> my first tutor of Fort Hill School. So I'm doing the chair so I can put this up close to the camera. It's the only year picture I've ever got in Fort Hill. And, I kind of, <laughs> and most of these people have changed completely. And also have, some of them have left. <clears throat> but yeah, that's my year seven picture. From the thirties. <clears throat> and this, that um, school picture. Uh, from Kemp Shop. Must have been year six because this was say in September 2013. That was also 2013, so must be the last ever picture I got of Kemp Shop. Um, right. <clears throat> this is a weird story, okay? I keep some cards because I think they're cute. Like a lot of Christmas cards and birthday cards. Um, my mum keeps a lot of them just in a the drawer, but these ones I find quite special because people have took the time to write me like, nice messages in them. So I have one from my friend Katie that has a little message in it. Um, one from my friend, I think this is Faith. Faith that's got a nice little message in it. Um, there might be more in here that I might find later, I can't remember. And then also this one. And if you don't know by now, I am slightly obsessed with Robert and Aaron from Everdale. And basically, um, there's these like drawings of different things. And this one is of wedding rings. It says, um, you know, I know, which is like a saying they say instead of I love you. It says Robert Sugden and Aaron Dingle. Um, and my mum got this picture and I know the actual drawer of it if I can find it I'll put it down below because she makes incredible pictures of Robert and Aaron but yeah my mum found this picture and actually made a card for me because obviously it says happy 15th birthday Emma on it and then it's got like that's writing on the inside as well so she actually went to the effort of making this and I think that's so nice so that's why I keep it obviously this chair focus by the way right <laughs> I mean this is pretty explanation of itself but these are my first ever pair of shoes wasn't I stylish some little shoes from Clark's I was size three and a half <laughs> but yeah some little hearts why are they so squeaky sorry there's some little hearts on them here and some little buckles. I don't know why I'm describing the shoes as if I still wear them. But yeah, these are my first pair of shoes. I hope this video is entertaining. I know quite a few people asked me to do it, so. This was from my, must be my first ever concert. And obviously it was a One Direction one. I don't know if you know, but I used to be absolutely obsessed with them. I think in my first couple of videos I still had like a One Direction bed cover, but yeah, there's like Harry, Liam, Louis, maybe, it might be Zayn, I'm trying to look it through the back, no it is Louis, then Zayn, and Niall, and then it says One Direction around here, but yeah, I don't really know what it is to be honest, a banner maybe, 
but I wanted someone to remember my first concert. No, it's not working. Yeah, that's from my first ever concert. <laughs> this one, if you watched my holiday vlog, at the very end I did like a little uh, some of the city bit because I never actually filmed in the end of Sipsy. Um, because it's, I explained the video, but it was like my first year ever going alone. So I was kind of trying to stay a bit calm because obviously I don't do well on my own. But yeah, um, I met two people called Jake, not Jake, sorry, I did meet Jake and Alex, Ryan and Aiden, sorry. Um, and they hadn't had any fans come up to them and they were surprised that someone had come up to meet them. Um, and um, what am I saying? Then Ryan gave me his bandana basically and I've kept it to this day. Um, sometimes I wear it but for the purpose of this video it's back in my memory drawer so I can show you it. I think it's so so sweet. If you guys want to check out their channel then do down below. They're the sweetest guys ever. And I still treasure this because it's so nice that you even thought to give it to me. <clears throat> this must have been for my second One Direction concert. It's like one of those lanyard things, it just says One Direction all around it. But it doesn't have anything on the end. I don't think it ever did have anything on the end. I think it was just to put anything you want on the end. I don't think I ever used it, but then again, it's. I think I get something at every concert just to remember the concert. Like, a lot of things that should be in here is like t shirts and stuff I brought. Like, I've got t shirts from One Direction concerts from Busted concerts. I have like a little box thing from um, Busted, which if you watched the vlog from that, which was one or two years ago now, I'm not too sure. Um, actually, I don't think it was a vlog. I think I just did like what I got or something like that. Um, but you'll see what I got in that. And there's like t-shirts from from um, Dan and Phil, from Molly Mads. Like there was t-shirts that aren't in here because I'd prefer them to be in my cupboard and that's why they're not in this video. I could have got them but I didn't, but yeah. I liked it when I get every concert. This was from my second Monday concert. I mean, the question is why is this in here? But this was from like year seven and I used to get so bored and I used to draw or slash write these things for YouTubers I like. There's one for Joe, one for Alfie, one for Marcus, one for Zoe. Jim, Troy, Casper, and Che. <laughs> I think I just wanted to keep this in here just to see how long I still like these YouTubers. And as of now, I still do like them, even though Troy isn't a YouTuber anymore. I am still obsessed with his music. So yeah, for now they're in there and they're gonna progressively leave when I start hating the YouTubers. <laughs> Hopefully no time soon. But yeah. Let's do tops next. I've got a hell of a lot of them. Right, this one. Oh, I don't know if you guys ever used to do it, but when you leave year six, I think it is, you all wear like a plain white t-shirt and then people can write over it like good luck messages or in some people's cases, draw boobs on it. But it's just something that you can keep that reminds you of it. So yeah, this was mine. I'm not even gonna attempt to read most of it, but a lot of it is good luck. And stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this one, what's this one? It's inside out, I don't know what it is though. Um, this one's a very new one. This was from October. Am I right there? October, maybe November. Whenever Hello World was, October I think. Um, I don't know if I ever showed this. It probably would have been in the vlog because I was wearing it. Hello World vlog, but I um I made a t-shirt with all the people that were going to Hello World that I knew because there was a couple I didn't on it and I wrote Hello World in the middle. I don't know if I showed this in the vlog to be honest. I struggle so much to show t-shirts. So I don't know if you can see but there. <laughs> this is such a struggle. In the middle basically it says Hello World and then it's got Josh Peters, the Vance, Louise. Mark Ferris, Joe Sugg, Tom Daly, Sean Elliott Connor, Alfie Day, Zoella, The Shades, Ollie, Lucy Lydia, Saffron Baker, Barker, sorry, Casper Lee, New Hope Club, Jack Maynard, Poppy Days, Marcus Butler, Tyler Oakley, Tyler Oakley, Tyler Oakley, Nikki and Sammy, and Jim Chapman. But yeah, I keep that because I really liked what I did, like how I made it. 
yeah, just wanted to move hello world because I didn't get an awful lot. I got a poster as well there, which I think is upstairs and I've also got my wristband still from there, which we'll find at some point during this video. Okay, uh, this is from, oh, as it says in the back, Sitsi 2016, just in case I forget. These tops are so creased because they've been sitting in this drawer for so long. Um, <clears throat> but I decided, because obviously, at, like, meet and greets and stuff, people get things signed. And the first year I went to Sitsi, obviously I didn't meet very many people anyway. I met Dan and Phil and got their signature. I think I met Gary, but I didn't get his signature. Um, but I was like, I don't want to be like everyone else. I want to do something different. So me and Jem, because I went with her that year, decided we were going to get white t-shirts and get anyone we met to sign them. Because piece of paper you, you lose quite easily. Anyway, yeah, I've got Dean Dobbs, Jack Hartwood, Brizzy Voices, Gary P, Trent Luke, Tom Scar, Cal, Jamie, Rowley, and Dodie. So the people that I met that year. I think I also met PJ, but I don't think I got his signature. Yeah, I did. I met PJ, but I didn't get his signature. Still two more tops in here. And then I'm going to move on to wristbands because I can see them. Oh, this is something I did, I think, with my dad. I don't remember what year. Inside out or not? I don't know. I don't even know if this would fit me anymore, but it's just basically a tie-dye t-shirt that I did. Was this the one I did with my dad in like year six, or was it the one I did with Jem at Basin Soak Live? Jem, if you're watching this, let me know if this is the one we did at Basin Soak Live. I don't know. It's one of the two, either way it's a memory. <laughs> And the last t-shirt I have in here, this is going to be such a long video, I'm so sorry, is, um, we could be getting these this year, but slightly, sim uh, slightly different, but when I left Camp Short, we got like this top that has the Camp Short logo here, and then all over the back, it has each class and then the names of everyone that is in each of these classes. Year 6, class 2013. How many of these do I still talk to? Like none. <laughs> That's so sad. I don't really. I don't know, no. There's me. Nina, I still speak to Nina. Charlie, still talk to her, and um, Molly Malin goes to my school, apart from that, that's all I speak to. <laughs> right, wristbands, it's like a little bit of a... This year I completely messed up my wristband, this is my first year of Sipsy, 2015, so it's an orange one, but um, <laughs> I completely cut it, I think I did it with this year's one as well, no, 2016's one, I messed up I think. I don't know, I'll we'll find out when I look into it. But yeah, that's 2015's one. This is my Hello World one, which is slightly split as well. So yeah, there's that one. Um, yeah, 2016. It's like a tiny bit here. But then there's also this one, so it's purple. And then. 2017's one. I think I like it in the red. We'll see what colour I get this year. And then also my Teen Awards one, which I really like this one. I really like the colours of it. And also I really like how it's made because you can like just tighten it and loosen it and you don't have to cut it. Oh, we might as well move on to tickets. We could be here a while though with tickets. Believe me. <laughs> right. Just making sure I've got them all together. Right. There is a vlog on this as well. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. But um, this is when I went to Man Two Swords in Blackpool with Jem, my mum, my dad, and my cousin Wilf. When I stayed when me and Jem stayed at my cousin's for that week and I only got like one or two vlogs up when we attempted to vlog every day. But yeah, I somehow acquired everyone's tickets and I'm not 
100% sure how. Yeah, that was a really cool day. Because then we went to the arcade and everything could have chopped it down. So we're on the beach. And it chopped it down, but yeah. This was the day I met Jem and we went to Harry Potter World. Oh, Studio Tour, whatever it's called. But yeah. Um, these tickets are from 2016 when I was in the Wizard of Oz play with my school. Um, I played Lord Growly because people were dropped out and there were parts left so I had to play that. I also played a Munchkin in the Lullaby League and a oh the Wicked Witch's Friend. So I had three parts in that. So yeah, I got my mum, my dad and my granddad's tickets from that to remind me of that. <coughs> this is when I went to see The Lion King uh, in February 2016, almost a year ago, with my aunt and my cousin. I think it's one of the best musicals I've ever seen, like Lion King. It's always it's my favourite Disney movie and to see the play of it was incredible. This was the first time I went to see One Direction in 2013, in April, in Manchester Arena. So I take it from that. It's going to take a long time, I tell you, to get the rules. This is my weekend ticket for 2016 for Sun in the City. My 2015 one is upstairs because it's got my Danifield signatures on the back, so it's stapled to my, not stapled, um, pinned to my wall next to the posters of them. But yeah, this is my 2016 one. Um, my Wicked ticket from May last year, actually I've got everyone's because they're all stuck together. But yeah, my mum and dad because my mum was went to go see Take That in Manchester but then obviously everything that happened in May last year there, it got cancelled so we decided to go to London to see a play. Um, we're getting very up to date with these tickets now. This is from Teen Awards this year, not this year, 2017, keep forgetting we'll change years, on October when I went to Teen Awards at Gem. Is there a vlog on that? Maybe? Yes. Yes there is. So I went to Teen Awards. <coughs> this is when I went to, oh, New Year's Racecourse with my mum, my dad and Chloe Saunders. We went to that, but mainly me and Chloe went, which these are the extra tickets, went to see Ollie Merz because he was performing after the races and we got the Golden Circle. So literally, there might be pictures of it, but we were basically front row watching Ollie Merz, which was awesome. One of my highlights of the year, seeing him twice. There might be tickets from that in here. I went to see Ollie Merz twice in 2017. Um, this is my Hello World ticket from the 28th of October with Chelsea. There's a vlog on that, definitely. These are my Cursed Child tickets. I have two because obviously there was part one and part two. I'm really unsure if this is focused, so I'm sorry if it's not. Um, this is when me and my mum went to the Haymarket to see a high school musical play, which is something that isn't, um, that doesn't usually happen. Funny story, I auditioned for this and I got like a, what was known as the background part, but it was actually quite a big part when we went and watched it. Um, I just didn't do it because at the time I didn't have much confidence, but now I do and I feel like I would do it now. But yeah, I went to that on the 20th of July, last, not last year, year before, 2016, we went to see this. So that's quite cool. Um, why are these muddled up? <clears throat> um, this is when me and my, god this was 2014, me, my mum and my dad went to see Charlie and Chocolate Factory July 2014, the musical of it. As much as I can remember it was four years ago but it was actually a very good performance. Quite like Charlie and Chocolate Factory so yeah. If you can't guess from a lot of these tickets, me and my parents go to a lot of theatre plays. Because I love musicals, so does my mum, my dad just tags along. 
Um, this is when I went to see Cure St. St. Dog in the night time, March last year with my school. I'm also going to Jack and Hyde in like two weeks with my school. Is that pretty cool? But yeah, I went to see Cure St. St. Dog in the night time. I think my Fowl Theatre is up there, which I think is Southampton, could be wrong, but now it's really cool. It's just a play, and I don't see an awful lot of plays. I think the only other one I've seen was. Um, you guys. No, nope, that's. I'm sorry, this cut off. Um, then a white, as you can clearly see, it's another day, but I'm just going to continue on. So, moving on. I can't remember exactly where I got to, but I think I'm sort of caught up. So, yeah, next thing is um, this like magazine thing. I know I'll probably through the tickets, but you'll understand why in a minute. But um, we've got this like newspaper thing, Hello World, and basically inside it, so it's basically got like news and stuff, joke news from Hello World. Um, and inside it, there was like a little thing. She was like, check inside because the lady gave it to us. Um, so check inside because there might be a surprise. And inside was a thing that said, congratulations, you won a ticket to meet Alfie Days, which both me and Chelsea got. And if you saw the I just want to check that the camera was sorted. So yeah, that was the next one. Let's just move them over. Then, um, I'm sorry if I've mentioned these before. I will watch this back and make sure. Um, did I talk about the X Factor tour? I don't think I did. Um, so in February, sorry if I have to speak about this, in February I went to the X Factor tour in uh, February to see like Ryan and Matt and all that which was super super cool. I like love the X Factor tour. I've been a couple of times. Mum reckons we went to see Oli Murs when he was there. I'm pretty sure we went to the one with Jedward. Um, because I remember Jedward doing like some flying thing and then obviously we went 2017. I will not be going, well, it was a 2016 lot, but we went 2017. I will not be going to see this year's one because I just don't like the people. Sorry about it. <laughs> okay, and then in March, we went to Manchester Arena. I know these are all over the place, but I need to sort my tickets into order. But we went to Manchester Arena to see Oli Mers for the first time, me and my mum, which was super cool. Like, I was so happy. Me and my mum have loved Ollie since he was on X Factor. And to see him live for the first time, obviously she reckons we went to see him on X Factor, but I wasn't sure. So it felt like the first time seeing him, and it was so, so nice. Like, to share that experience with my mum when we both love him so much, it was just so cool. And it was really nice. And the first, like, well, excluding January, the first two months of 2017, me and my mum both went to see obviously the extra children and Oli Mers, and it was so cool. It's really, it's really nice going to concerts, which is probably really sad, but yeah. I don't think I've shown this one, I showed the other one, but in 2000, I'm really cautious my mum's going to come home. If she does, this might cut. Um, in 2014, I went to see One Direction again on their Where We Are tour on 6th of June, and I'm pretty sure. This so was the same date, people like Zoe and Joe Sugg and Dan Howell and Louise, I think Alfie might have gone, Marcus might have gone, um, I'm pretty sure they went to this date, because um, I'm pretty sure I was there at the same time though, it was at Wembley Arena, if you go back to the vlogs in 2014 on the 6th of June, I think there's one on Zoe's channel, there might be one on Joe's channel, might be one on Louise's channel, but I'm pretty sure I went to the same date soon, which is pretty cool, because now I like idolise them. Um, my ticket to meet Pete and Gary last year at Sipsy. Well, 2016 at Sipsy. I think. I might have met them again this year. No, I met Pete this year, not Gary. But yeah, this is from 2016. And another one from 2016. This is Brizzy Voices, who I met like three times in 2016. I think I had a ticket. I think Jim's mum gave me a ticket. And I think we just found her outside or something like that. Because, I don't know if you remember, but in 2016 I went to sit with Jem and um, it was me, her, her sister, her brother, her mum and her nan all got tickets. Um, and obviously her brother, her mum and her nan didn't want to meet anyone. So we took their codes and their tickets to go in for the ballot. So we put those people, we got so many people so many times, me and Jem. So yeah, we met a lot of people quite a few times in 2016. And then the last thing I did, which was the end of 2017, um, there's a vlog of this on my vlogmas, but I went to the Christmas stories live on stage, which if you guys saw my vlog, you'd see what I said about it. Um, 
but it was such a good play and then me and my mum went to Winter Wonderland afterwards. But the Christmas Horror is so good and I really hope Tom does it again next year because I want to go and see it again. It made me cry and that might have just been the emotion of Christmas or seeing the, my idols that made me want to sing, made me want to act like on stage in front of me for the first time. Obviously I've been seeing Busted a couple of years back but I think just seeing people like Carrie, Tom, G, like it was incredible. Obviously I've met G recently but yeah, that is my last sort of tickets. Right, I've shown one of these already, I know. But I have another autograph book and I'm pretty sure, uh, this is trying to remember because I'm pretty sure I filmed the start of this video like a week ago and my camera died. Um, I have a blue one of these which I showed. This is another red autograph book from Disneyland and then, as I said I think this might be my brother's and I might have just hijacked it because it says my name in the front but I don't reckon, I mean I've been to Disneyland twice but I don't think I got a different one each time. I'm sure I hijacked this one from my brother just because I wanted signatures from people at Disneyland because I'd never been and I knew he had before I was born but then obviously I've been now twice but like, there's some weird messages in here to Daisy, I love you, stay awesome, spelt wrong um, and some weird squiggles at the bottom here she doesn't see that, I don't know but yeah I'm pretty sure this might be my brother's and I hijacked it so sorry um, this is pretty cool. 2017 was the first year, this is like so ripped and crumpled, um, was the first year I went to Pride, which is actually quite a mistake. I wasn't intending on going to Pride. It's one of the things I've always wanted to do, um, but I never intended it. Me and Faith went to London with my parents to do another Harry Potter thing earlier on in the year, so whenever, this, it must have been June, July time, I can't remember exactly. Um, to do this like Harry Potter walk thing that they have in London, I'm not too sure is that it was. Evidently, we never did it. Um, two of my favourite YouTubers, Dan and John, um, were doing like some meet up thing. And the meet up was originally before we had to get to this walk anyway. Um, and it was quite near to where we got off the train or off the tube. So I was like, oh, can we just walk there and so I can meet them? Because I was dying to meet them. Um, my mom. Um, and this queue ended up being so long. In the end, I never even met them because they ended up leaving before I even got inside the shop. I mm -hmm. saw Callum again. Um, I met Dan and John at Sitsi anyway, so I have met them in 2017. But um, by the time we even managed to get inside, like it was really awkward to get out of the queue once you were in it. And I didn't even want to bother because I was like, we've got about. 20 minutes and we're quite near so I was like let's just get inside we'll see Callum we'll go um but by the time we actually got inside and Callum got out we were too late to even get to the walk so we're like you know what forget it mum was like I know you've always wanted to go to a pride so let's just go find the parade and I can honestly say yeah I did concerts yeah I did theatre stuff and all that last year but I can honestly say pride was one of the best days of my year last year because it's one of those moments that you've got to be in it to feel what it feels, but just to see people celebrating stuff like that, I don't know, it just felt made me feel really happy. And even though this is ripped to pieces, I got given this by someone from the parade, so I kept hold of it, just to remind me of my first Pride. And hopefully I'll be going to a lot more. I'm hoping to get back to London Pride this year. But yeah. That was such a long winded story for Pride, I'm sorry, I'm passionate about Pride. Um, this was my first ABC book, like oh my god. <laughs> As a child would I even know what an aeroplane was? They didn't like, this is the first ABC book and it's like it's such long words, aeroplane, ambulance, Apicus, whatever it's called. I can't even say it now. Maybe I'm just dumb. But like, <laughs> there was some complicated words in here for a child to try and say. Daffodil. Like, as a child, would you have known to say that? Or how to say that? I don't even know. Okay, yeah. So the next thing is a tie, which is my tie from year 7 to year 10. 
sort of kept in my mum. Um, and I kept it because it just reminds me of school, which is probably pretty sad, but that oh, makes so much noise. But um, yeah, it reminds me of school, which <laughs> were some of the easiest years of my life. And I've almost finished. I have four months left at school, four or five months left at school. And I'll be on to college. Can you not? Sorry, someone's walking now on. Yeah, and then I'll be gone, I'll be on to college. Um, I'm coming to the end of this draw. I'm not going to go through this because it's embarrassing as heck. But this is my Camp Trip Junior School like anthology thing, which is where I did like all my work. Um, so from 2009 to 2013. So <laughs> this is probably really hard to see, but there's some like work from year four. I won't go through it all because there's a lot of like writing. I made India. Year five, I had wrote a poem. If I had wings, I would fly my friends and family all the way to Disneyland. Stop. <coughs> really? Max, no. Stop it. What's this? Your cats? It's really bad idea. Uh, yeah, obviously I was a writer from a young age. I've got like stories and stuff here. You're putting muddy paws all over my favourite. Oh, give up. Yeah, stories, more stories, more drawings, stuff I don't do to this day. Relax. You can only see the table, but uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of stories and drawings and stuff. My year four. Excuse me. My year four to I think year six. It must have been to year six, but I don't have a year. I don't know where the years change. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from year four to year six. Um, I have a lot of like programmes. I have this programme from when I went to see Hetty Feather live on stage. Hetty Feather was like one of my favourite books ever. Like I used to be obsessed with the series, but I haven't read like the newest books of it for ages. But um, there was a play of it in London for like a certain, like a limited amount of time. Me and my mum went, and it, it was such a good play. But yeah, I went to see Hattie Feather. And this is, oh, I just ripped it. It's, um, I don't know, yeah, the words are completely anti faded, really, apart from by Emma and war. But one year I did a World War II project. So I had to write about what World War II was and everything. I had to research, research gas masks. Um, I really went into depth with projects back then. I never realised how in depth I went. Let's hope it's somebody gas masks. Uh, the research on evacuation. Some recent bits and bobs you can take when you are evacuated and stuff. I interviewed my granddad because he was born on 7th of, 7th of August 1939. So he was quite young, like he was very young, obviously because it started in 1939, um, when it all happened, but he remembers growing up in, in like not a home, and then we had to pick five songs about World War II that we liked, and that's where I own story, and it's still one of my favourite stories ever, for some reason I call it Jew's story about a little girl called Aaliyah, but yeah. Um, another programme from the Christmasaurus, which has got like some really cool, it's a very childish programme that I look at because it's quite a childish show, it's like colourings and word searches and stuff but I just wanted it for the main purpose of it's got big pictures of people like Matt Willis, um, cute little messages in it, Tom there and then like Harry, Jean Carrie and stuff like that through it but yeah, um, I have my programme from the X Factor tour this year, which basically said everyone that was in it, and there's just like pictures in different uh, sections for everyone. There's Ryan section, Honey G, Emily, Five to Midnight, Sarah, and I'm guessing Matt. Don't know, let's get to it. Yeah, Matt. Um, 
my last programme, yeah. I'm sure I've had more programmes. These all seem to be like mainly this year's programmes, but and then my Oli Mers one. Which I am yet to read through and I got this in March. But um yeah, there's different bits and bobs from Molly in there. Questions and answers and stuff, so I should actually read through. Okay. And the last little bits and bobs. This is another thing that I kept from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which is literally just the things you can get from there. Which there were some awesome things. I think there was a jumper I wanted. I think I can find it. No, I can't find it. I'm sure there was a jumper I wanted, but I can't remember. Oh, no. It's on the front, the little cute Harry Potter and the Cursed Child one. But it's £30. My mum was like, no. Um, I kept this little leaflet from the Beatles exposition thingy that me, Jem, and my parents went to um, up at my nan's, I think, at that pool or something. Maybe not. Maybe Liverpool. One or two, but yeah, it was a pretty cool museum. My signatures from Concept the Band when I met them a couple of years back. This was my first ever planner. Yeah, year seven. My first ever planner at Fort Hill School. It's completely in tatters, if you guys can see that. Um, but no, this is when I used to have so much homework. I like have none in year 11 apart from revise, revise, revise. Um, my first ever leaflet I got from Harry Potter's studio tour. Let's say it's inside the secrets we were revealed. And you open it up and it's got like just pictures and stuff of the whole tour. Um, the little like pamphlet pamphlet, whatever it's called, thingy, um, of the Wizard of Oz when I was in it, um, my name's there, I don't know if you can see that, as Wizard of One, um, under Munchkin up there, and I'm also under Lord Growly, wherever Lord Growly is, oh, down the bottom there, the bits for like backstage people, set painters, oh yeah I'm also under set painters, if you guys can see that, it's like my name's split up at the end. Um, this, which I got from Jem, because she went to see Spies of Forever, which is the Teen Can Brothers play in America, and she got me this little, like, book thingy from it, with all the cast and crew in it, because I love Spies of Forever, and we both love, like, Star Kid, and it was mainly, like, Star Kid people. Um, well, not really, one, two, three, four, four Star Kid people, but, um, this little book I have. It's like a short extract book of Alex Bertie's new book, uh, which I've actually yet to get the book. I was going to get it with Christmas money, but then I only got £10 Christmas money and brought Dan Phil's game. But I'm excited to read the rest of it. I got this at Sitsi this year, and I've read the sample, and it's so good. It's all about, like, obviously transmission. It's about him going from a girl to a guy, because he's transgender. And I think it's really interesting to read his story, and I love Alex so much. And then lastly, my, I don't know why I kept this, but I've got my Summer in the City official 2017 guide, which I think I just kept it because of the little messages in it. There's a message from Alex's boyfriend Jake in here and stuff like that. I don't know. And then also there's the last call pictures on the back, which is so cool. But yeah, that's the um, end of this haul. Oh, cool. I looked through my memory drawer. I'm sorry if it was bad. People told me to do it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. So it's like split up. But if you stay on to the next clip, there will be like a goodbye clip. And also I have something to show you guys. I promise I'll show you in my last weekly vlog. It, so in my weekly vlog and also obviously my, um, like what I got for Christmas, I showed you I had an ASOS voucher. And I said I'd show you what I got with it in my weekly vlog. But then it never came for my weekly vlog. It came today, which is the 11th of January. So I was going to show you what I got. I've never ordered anything from ASOS this school. I've already opened it. Um, that's what we've got in here. No, oh, how lovely. A goodness knows bar. Apple, peanut and almond. Ooh, might give that a go. But it's dark chocolate. I don't really like dark chocolate that much. Um, goodness knows, free sample. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Asos. I'm really worried this is going to have my address on it. I can't find it. But yeah, it just basically says what I got. So yeah, let me show you what I got. Uh, 
first was this like top thing. Uh, it's actually obviously from New Look. It's like a little petite top. It's called a. Uh, I can't even open this anymore. It's called New Look. New Look Petite. I can't even see it. New Look Petite Ratchet Barot top or whatever. It's not fine because I just got it. But yeah, it's like this. It's got like the pull in neck, some short sleeves. It's quite short and it looks really nice. And it's something like a top that I haven't gone for before but on the model it looked really nice so I thought I'd try it and I really love this burgundy colour so yeah that's the uh, first one I, thing I got and then the other thing I only got two things because I only had £20 to spend was this jumper which is called Noisy May Tool Sogan Sweater that was a mouthful so yeah, it that says Hey Lover Boy in it it's quite a long one but yeah, it's just a long sleeved grey jumper and obviously, if you couldn't already guess, I love jumpers. But yeah, it's like a really weird material on the inside but it should be okay. No, I really like that. It's my first ever Hazel shop. But yeah, I promise I'll show you guys that. So yeah, that's what I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I'm ending this like vlog style. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look through my memory drawer. So it's like all over the place. My camera died. And I never got around to filming the next bit till today. But, um, and also like the little ASOS haul thingy that I promised to show you. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys for the next video. Subscribe, like and comment, you can subscribe by clicking my face up will be on the screen somewhere. I will also put the last week, last weekly vlog on the screen somewhere. And I will also put my vlogmas on the screen somewhere because I mentioned them in this video. Any other YouTubers or anything I mentioned, I will put down below and anything else. Also, all my social media links are down there, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!